Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be starting off my brand new channel with creating a brand new video on a tutorial slash, slash demo on a product I created back in October of 2018. So this is a new channel I'm starting up. I'm going to be focusing on some of the behind scenes of what I do as a iOS slash website developer, some of the things I uh, create, uh, some demos of applications I'm going to build here in the future, maybe some tutorials on applications uh, along with what I build, maybe somewhat, something I find interesting or something I like, and then basically just focus on giving tips and helping others grow and learn how to program in something that they like basically so let's get started so if you see the here's the download this link uh, link will be in the description below so when you open it up it uh, showcases basically all the features that I've created in but not really explaining what everything is through these images um, I, from my perspective, understand uh, someone else who randomly pops up on it may not. So I'll be showing you guys the, basically the main features of the app, um, some tips to use, and then some secret features you could also find. Along with that, uh, I'll be explaining some of the future updates we're going to have and basically what we're going to improve to basically help each user have a better experience for themselves. So. Let's jump in right into the app. So now we are here. Um, when you download the app, you're gonna sign up, basically create your account for yourself, and that'll jump you right into Habite. The first thing that's gonna pop up is gonna be uh, the main tutorial. It's gonna go through every feature in a, basically, I would say a basic description or a really short description. Uh, not really getting to the point on everything, so I'll be doing a quick demo here of every feature. I've created some basically presets, you could say, on everything. Along with that, I've also completed some habits and missed some just so I could show you what it works. So a quick, um, a quick description on both plans. The free plan includes your uh, habits or tasks along with notes and the note folders. And then a couple uh, key features in the profile, such as your weekly habit goals and your current streak, and then some analytics on the habits. And plus you get a calendar, which ha doesn't really do much except for connect to your tasks. There will be more add on adding on to it later on in future updates, where we'll connect your schedules to it, we'll connect your checklist to it, where you'll be able to set dates and um, basically set reminders and then there will also be goals in it where I'll discuss that here later on and in your premium plan which is two dollars ninety nine cents for lifetime access you get your checklist you get your goal uh, schedules you get your goals you get night mode and then you're gonna get future analytics here coming up in the next update we'll be giving you brief breakdowns on your day and what you do every day uh, every week uh, Basically, and every month basically we'll be breaking that down to show you how you use your time if you use it effectively or not and basically you'll be the judge of that so let's start with habits they are basically tasks so i've created three here we have our repeating at the top it's uh we have a repeating habit where you can set basically any kind of sequence you can create a weekday every day weekend or any kind of sequence throughout days then we also have our one-time habits which are completed one time and you either miss or complete them. So I've set one for a repeating and then two for one time. As you can see, each habit is basically the same minus the repeating and not repeating function. Um, you're able to set your date. Here we've added some custom presets in case you ever wanted to do some, uh, something very simple. Or you can create your own custom where you can select certain days. You can do certain things every week and Along with that, we've even added reminders for those repeating and one time. So say if we're repeating habit for weekdays, and then you set a time for one o'clock every day, every day throughout that weekday. So Monday through Friday, every one of those days, you're gonna get reminded at one o'clock. And then in here, we've also added colors where you'll be able to group habits together into categories in the future. Along with that, you'll be able to uh, group together checklists and your notes, and then possibly goals, but we have not decided on that fully. And then you also have some notes. When you complete or miss a highlight, it affects your overall score right here. 
in the profile tab it basically goes off uh, every time you complete or miss it just does a little bit of division basically the simple uh, task um, we may improve the num the basically point system later on but right now it's very simple because we wanted to make it really basically understandable to the user so say we completed our weekday work today we get a little pop-up notification at the top and our score since um, we had 11 created uh, it did not add on to 12 just yet until we completed that highway that's why you see the score go down but it did not affect it negatively if you actually break it down but say we also had our lunch which is our one-time habit we can say we we missed that lunch even though we got notified notification pop up at the top and we missed it our score will go down along with that there's also the buttons you can use to complete or miss we're gonna complete it here and our score should go up boom just like that so basically that's your overall score it tells you how well you are you are able to keep up with tasks and do certain things let's move on to another quick feature the notes feature very simple and similar to the ios app uh note the notes app <laughs> sorry um very basic uh, you create your own note folders along with that you're able to create secret folders you can rename folders if you ever do create a secret folder and you forget the password it is a four digit minimum password you can get you can go into the settings page no passwords type in your account password and then find every single secret folder password you have and uh i've not mentioned this but all your uh, note passwords all your uh all your items here in habits list notes schedules and goals are all stored locally onto your phone so that nothing is stored onto a database so that no uh, your privacy is basically kept secret and basically kept loyal to you so that's something i really like we will be adding icloud uh compatibility later on where you'll be able to uh, combine your items throughout uh, multiple devices uh, we did add iPad comp compatibility in the last update, so you'll be able to add, uh, you'll be able to shift from your iPad to your iPhone uh, very swiftly. So that's basically notes. If you do create a note, you can create one uh, in each folder. You can share a note. You can um, edit a note. You can increase or change the font size, uh, and then it does save that state for each note, and then you're able to copy the note to your clipboard. So that's that's a nice little feature we've added for free users. Now, if we go into the premium users, the two ninety nine lifetime access again, you get your checklist. Probably one of the this is the second uh, most famous uh, feature for premium users. Uh, schedules is the first favorite, and then goals is of course the third. So if we click on it, uh, we've created actually a checklist. Everything can be created here minus our schedules. You can create schedules here. But if we create a checklist, I've already created one, you can get your name, uh, and then you can also create as many items as you want for each. Uh, when this pops up, actually, your keyboard should pop up. So we've created a checklist preset here. How this works, you are able to double click to complete an item. You can click an item to pop up an uh, action sheet. You can hold an item to also pop up an action sheet. So basically, a couple different ways to um, show you guys presets and show you uh, basically easier ways to get to what you want so here we've added the complete we've added an edit and delete so if we complete this grapes we can also uh, so let's say we edited our apples we want to get three times apples boom just like that it saves your state there's a nice little animation each time you complete an item and that's basically your goals whenever you complete uh, your checklist you do get a notification here at the bottom I'll actually show, okay, show that and there you are you get your little notification so that is your note uh, your checklist let's move on to the favorite uh, feature called schedules so what we've done is we added basically uh, same thing as a calendar except it's based for one day right now there will be future schedules where you're able, where you'll be able to set repeating um, events you'll be able to set uh, future events for certain days and basically you'll be able to customize it your own way so I've set, uh, I've set two events here. I have added a note where you're able to have your own link. Uh, I did not mention in notes you are able to have uh, links as well. And so if you click on that, you'll go into your browser. 
And so that's a nice little feature if you're ever stuck. You've also added phone numbers, I believe, so you can quickly dial. Say you, you have a meeting or you have dinner and you forget the, to make a reservation or you need to make a reservation, put that phone number in there, put that website, uh, maybe put Open Table the app in there since they basically do all reservations now. So if we have our ad event, we basically get our name, start and end time, you get an icon, not as many icons as the goal icons where we, or this uh, schedule icons has about 50 right now we are going to integrate it with the goal icons and have over 200 in the next update for both and then our plans to have 500 by the end of uh, by the middle of june 500 icons combined for both so that'll be basically both of them have 500 and then we have our own little color where you can set your own color you will be able to edit the rgb the red blue the red green blue and we'll add a little hex label here we will be able to uh, type in your own color and then we have notes. So that is basically what schedules are. We are going to add on to it and make it more unique for each user. <clears throat> goals. These are really simple. You create a goal here <clears throat> in the home screen. You can create them. You will be able to create them in the actual goals tab. So what you do is you get your you get your goal name, the number of times you want to complete. You are able to click on the goal, but if you do type in zero you are not able to but so basically you, the amount of times you want to iterate through this goal um, that you set then you are able to set over uh, we have over 120 icons each in a different category that we've created for you guys uh, we will be adding on to that like I said earlier and then you have your completed date by where we will add a notification so that will check if you have actually completed it by that certain date so that's goals. Um, when you say you iterate through or complete a goal, you are able to double click. That'll iterate through once, or you can click the menu item and click check. And then you, of course, are able to add in and delete your items. Now, if you move on to the profile, we have our overall score. We have some uh, buttons here. We have our edit profile, invite, and of course, the share. This will get updated where you'll have more presets to share your score, your weekly goals, your analytics, your uh, current uh, streak and best streak where you log on every single day uh, we have our set weekly goal this is how many highlights you want to complete minimum in the current week so we can say five but when we set five we've already completed two this week so we're 40 percent there and then we have our current streak and best streak where you'll be able to share images with friends and compete how many times can you log back on consecutively every day um, and do something in the apps complete a task uh, check off a list item maybe you can iterate through a goal and then like i said earlier our analytics on habits so there's a lot in store coming up in future updates well we'll keep you guys updated i will do another tutorial here after probably a couple months where i believe the app will be a lot more different since back in october the app was completely different from what it is now there was only one feature and it was habits and then there was your of course your rankings which we will be adding friending and grouping here in the next couple updates where you'll be able to connect with friends compete with them uh, create basically tasks together create checklists together share different files basically we're making this so that it's productivity for you so yeah that's that's habit app you can download it on the app store again the link will be in the bio, uh, description below and I just like to thank thank you guys for watching. Uh, there will be more videos coming up. I'll be doing a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of uh, tutorials, uh, maybe some I don't know sneak peeks or something. Well, thank you for watching again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Definitely share Habit app with your friends. We will be adding a rewarding system for uh, sharing and connecting friends together where you'll get a code and you can connect your friends together. So subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.